For the second time in just two weeks, the American Red Cross is racing against the clock to mobilize volunteers, shelters and relief supplies as Hurricane Milton takes aim at western Florida. That's putting some of these same communities ravaged by Helene at risk of facing further destruction. In North Carolina, Red Cross has set up over 200 emergency shelters, providing more than 30,000 overnight stays. And none of this would be possible without the hard work of volunteers, one of whom made their way down south from Fairfax, Vermont. ABC 22's Lily Sakaniwa shares her story. Giving them a place to rest and work out of and start to begin to think about how to get their lives back together. Vermont native Rochelle Laveau has spent the last week down in Asheville, North Carolina, volunteering with the Red Cross in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. I have three shelters that I serve. Each morning, Laveau drives a U-Haul to a warehouse. And we get the request list, see if we have what they want in the warehouse and take all of that, put it on my truck. If there are items they want or need that are not in my warehouse, then I go out and I get them. Requests range from coffee cups to fresh fruit to baby formula. Having volunteered when Vermont was hard hit by flooding, Laveau felt called to lend a hand. The Vermont floods are so fresh in my mind. That shelter experience helped me to understand how to connect with the people in this community. And while there is still a long road to recovery ahead, Laveau says the North Carolina community is rallying around the Red Cross and each other. They're wondering what they have left and they're stopping to say thank you and they're stopping to give us hugs. Just this community is coming together and they'll, they're helping each other and they're glad to have us here helping them as well. Lily Sakaniwa, ABC 22 News.